Well, hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play Pillars of Eternity, episode 251. Alrighty then. Okay, we're still Let's doing... The word is the bird. Uh, we're still doing... I might have told about to mention that. We're still doing the expansion. Part 2 now, though. Part 2 of the expansion. And they've leveled up. And like I said, the main reason we're doing expansion, not only because it's the content to do, but because we got into the main story and we got to a point where we couldn't really advance without going down some of the individual stories. And I didn't really want to do everyone's until near the end. And because I'm a bit low. And this way it allows us to level. And then hopefully then we can carry the lower ones when we do their individual stories. Okay. There's apparently a murder thing on here, so let's find out. I mean, we need to level actually, so we might do that this episode next. Let's put in the dark. Uh, Simon's body is laid. Uh, it's laid out cleanly. You can see that his throat has been torn out and his face, got too quick, uh, has deep scratches in it. His hands are strained a light yellow. Because I accuse of someone doing that. We don't ask who's done that. You here for the body? Yeah. Not a problem. We're spread, to, we're spread too thin through these mines. Okay. Oh, what's that? I was going to go back and see what it said. I can't now. I can look at this, though. You can see that his throat has been torn out and his face has deep scratches. So, yeah, torn out his throat. I doubt a miner is going to tear, tear his throat out. So I don't think he's a murderer. I think that he just found him. Anyway, let's do this. Oh! Oh, okay. I thought they were rushy gulls. Okay, it's a little better. Oh, they're archers. Okay. What the hell's that? Greater of blind. He probably created it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The healer's going a bit down. A little bit quick. <laughs> Should probably get this. And I'm not long taking my dog outside. And I think my heavy was kicking it. My nose is starting to run. That's perfect when I start an episode. So I'm sniffling a bit in the episode. I apologise beforehand. I'm trying my best not to, but I can feel myself sniffling a little bit. Hopefully it's not in the mind. If it does, I apologise. I hate hay fever. And give me a quick rundown, quick. I was told when I was younger, if you get hay fever when you're young, you then grow out of it. If you get it when you're adult, you have the rest of your life. Well, I got it when I was young. And I would say about a couple of years before I moved to America. I barely saw no one's it for the last couple of years. Then I moved to America, I guess, because it's new flowers, new stuff. But I was used to, it flared right up again, and I've got it all the time now. So it's like, brilliant. So basically, if you're lucky to be a kid, and you get hay fever as a kid, and then when you grow up, you no longer have it. Try not to move countries, because you'll probably get it back. They didn't mention that. It was just, well, if you have it as a kid, you'll grow out it when you're older. Not my job, but by the way, if you actually move countries, you'll probably get the whole thing back. Because actually the first uh, time I came over here, no not the first time, sorry, correct that, correct that. Second time? Second time I came over here, because first time I came on my own, met Tiffy and everything. Second time I came over with my mum. Basically, as you know, if you listen to my channel, my dad passed about a month or so after I came back. And my mum was 50th birthday, so we, we came over. And she met Tiffy and her family for the first time. Well, she only met... Yeah, 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 she did for the first time, yeah, because I, I was trying to think if... No, okay. I came over first, then Tiffy and her family came over, so she met them then, and then Mum came over, and, ah, okay, that was, I think, I think it was that way round. I think that was the way round it was. But anyway, um, uh, we, we, they took us to this, uh, what was it, Buffalo something? Apparently in Kentucky it's the only Buffaloes, because they don't have them wild in Kentucky now or something, and this ranch or something. And I was over there, and I was getting so hot and sweaty, and there's all these flowers around us, we had to walk, well, we didn't walk through the flowers, but we walked to the pavement with all the flowers around us. And apparently, Mum's like, and, and Tiffy was like, you're getting blotchy, what's going on? Take your top off, take your top off. And like, I was like, I don't like doing that, you know, unless you go into a pool or the sea. And I said, I don't really want to, because just take it off, and they took it off, and apparently, all these, like, red lumps that came out, I never had hay fever that bad. The first time I ever had hay fever was in Britain, when I was uh, in the infant school, their section of the school they hadn't cut so it was like you know long grass with the seeds on I went in running in that with some friends after school finished then when I came over to mum I was just blotchy in my face and everything she rushed me to hospital didn't know what was going on they said it was basically hay fever and that's the worst I ever had it and after that I always got it every year but it never as bad I took pyrotons what always helped it well I can't get over here it was annoying and then when I came to America and that second time and went through the stuff it was even worse because that's in my body too 
and basically they've got other stuff on it, but there's these really big tablets. If you swallow them, it's they choke you a bit. They're so big. They're pretty much little tiny things, and I wish they had them over here. But yeah, if your hay fever starts leaving you alone because you were lucky to get as a, as a kid, try not to move countries because it's probably going to flare up again on you. So I guess it's because it's different plants and you're not used to and that. Or if you do move countries, move to one that has similar plants to you. <laughs> so like the country next to you what might still have the same plants. Because it's bloody awful having it back again. Because my granddad got it when he was older, so I was like, oh, he's going to rest his life. But hey, mine's dying off now. I had it as a kid. I'm lucky. Nope. Oh, crud, the anger one went down. The healer. But nope, not because I moved countries. Yay. You guys realise I didn't get your second electric. I think you've got him now, I don't need it. Yeah, I think you've got him, I'm not willing to deal now. We need him back up though. Yes, it's one per fight, so. Yep. Oh, please, have we stuck on one? Otherwise, we're going to have to rest already. Ready when you are. So yeah, this episode's a little hard for me because I am trying my best not to sniffle on the mic for you, but don't mean I'm going to be very successful. Luckily, I got some uh, tissues nearby, so I'm grabbing that trying to clean my nose. Not a problem. Especially with today, uh, I have what? Because I've left behind my pillows. Uh, I have 30 episodes to do today to catch up from my backlog, basically. And next month is when I'm actually going to sit down. Do you know, I told on the channel before how I'm trying to get ahead because stuff like that's in October, etc. next year. I'm going to try and sit down and do my secondary slot, as I call it, what is currently Pillars, and just try to knock them out. Um, I can't remember how many I need to do for it, basically. Because remember, these are five days a week. I'm hoping within that time period, I'm using that month uh, at the end of all my regular schedule stuff, knocking all these out up until that time period. We'll finally finish Pillars, I can move on to something else. Maybe we'll go back to Spellforce 3, maybe do Planet Annihilation, maybe something else. That's, I don't know. But first I've got to do Gal Civ. Well, I'm, I'm actually behind on that too. I'm going to end up doing that tomorrow, and probably into Monday. And then I have basically like a week and a half to do the Ashes, and then move on to, like I just said. You see Gamble? How could I miss it? Looks like he went swimming in Samoth's blood. Blazes. Never would have pegged him for a freak. Okay. We'll go up here a bit before we talk to him. So I think it's down here where we can chat with him. What the? You could come to. Did, were you. Was she not helping in that fight at all? Ready when you are. Because since she's melee, she should have been over here, shouldn't she, in that fight? Confused mine. Okay, everyone come together. Someone must have the crystal. Where is it? Come on, folks, get moving. Let's get this done. Hope these miners are worth the trouble. The mines. Do you ever get lost? Follow the wall on the right. Yeah. So these. He might say someone else with a name. There. Yeah. Need something? We're trying to get this place cleared out. He squints at you. What are you doing in here anyway? I'm looking into a recent disappearance. Can I ask you a few questions? Hmm. Galad. Someone finally taken an interest in what's been going on around here. Sure. Ask away. Some hands had yellow stains on them. One of your workers was acting a little strange. That's that one. Notice that, have you? I think it's something to do with the sulphur. After they sent to fetch it back from the east mines? No, yeah, that's this way. They all come back a little off. Okay. Caught some of them wandering in circles, talking to themselves. These shrugs didn't seem to last once they were outside the mines. Oh, okay. He missed about crystal. You have to go to some crystals doing it. No one from your crew gone missing? Not one. Guess we've been lucky. Sanford's hands had yellow stains on them. Sanford's a sulfur mine. So sulfur. Worked on the east side of the mines. Probably got it all over his hands. Not a big mystery there. He smiles crookedly. Okay, is that supposed to be crookedly as in his smile is just a little crooked? Or is that crookedly as a he's an evil? Ha ha ha, crook. It's probably his, his smile from reading too much into it. His mines seem to be... Uh, Sight of a lot of trouble. My guess uh, it's gas bubbling up from underground, uh, coming out 
with the sofa messing with people's heads. Knew a guy once got a lung fall, he decided to sh I was going to say suck, but that's not suck. Take the H out would be suck. <laughs> shrug? Shrug, 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 shrug off all his clothes. And run hollering through the tunnels. We all got an eyeful, but at least he didn't hurt anybody. Be careful if you head over there. So apparently we've got to go over there. Whoever uses constructs for digging and they double as guards. Just give her a heads up. Uh, you're on the way, maybe. Where's Sheila's job here? Have her picking out some potential sites for a new tunnels at the moment. Otherwise, she raggles the constructions mostly these days. I feel like my, my, my voice is getting very nasally again. I'm, I'm trying to stop myself sniffing right now, I'm sorry. Uh, her aims to have the construct do most of the that dangerous work. You have to ask her how she's getting on with it. I never like those things myself. Okay. Whisper in the dark. Is there anything else we can ask? No. If I would have thought about these tremors, about the crystal way, why punish us like this? This minor stairs blankly head, eyes wide, unfocused. Little blue thing there. The cave-ins have created openings to the outside. Snow has settled upon the rocks above. So I guess we go here, but it's not the elephants. We can't get across here. Unless there's something to lower us down. Ooh, wait. How would you get to that? Ooh, wait a minute. Oh! So that's the east. And he's come from there. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. But the other guy's taking east, so we'll go chat with him before we head east. And I'll have two or three bits this episode, then I can hopefully blow my nose and stop sounding sneezily for you. Yay, for the next episode, hopefully. So hard with your stiff not to stiff up. <laughs> and I keep doing little tiny ones while holding it on the mic. Ah, oh, there he is. Scrolls of papers documenting the sale of iron ore and sulfur crammed into shelves. It's good to see you. Hey, I have a topia. Keep your eye out for trouble. Oh, man. Now, what can I do for you? Oh, everything we said before. Okay. Uh, his name, Garmel. It's fairly clear why Gamel is under suspicion. His face is spattered with blood, his hands are bound, but you can see blood and scraped of flesh under his fingernails. But you can. Okay, I was about to say, you, but you can't see. Unless that's a spelling mistake. Because that's a big, big difference, don't you think, if it's can or can't in this situation. But you can see blood and scraped of flesh under his fingernails. It's 100... Is hunched and te uh, tears have dug tracks through the layers of gore on his face. You find yourself the target of a pleading expression the moment you're in sight. A few questions for you. Please. It's like I told them. I know what happened. I can't. Re I don't know what happened. I ca can't remember a thing. There's no way I could have done this to. Done that to. Uh, Samath. Samath. Well, you say the name. I'll do my best to prove it. Coming in blood, how do you explain that? Just shut up and answer the questions. If you're interested, I'll do my best to prove it. Thank you, thank you. So all I'm asking for is a chance. I didn't do this. I don't deserve what they, they'll do to me. Well, what questions did you have? What's the last thing you can remember? Tarek shaking me awake. I was on the floor. Samov was curled up nearby. And he was, he was dead. His face crumbled. Uh, that's all. There's hours just gone out of my head. Who's Tarek? He handles construction in the tunnel. So yeah, we've definitely gone there. There was a cave in it to the north. And he and the others have been working on cleaning it for a while. Oh, the guy we just talked to. I wonder if we get something extra to say now because of... Because I don't remember him mentioning he was with him. Who I nip up there before we go east then. He must have been grabbing supplies for the crew when he found me. Uh, where are the other miners? I don't know. Nobody knows where the miners have gone. I swear it, I didn't have anything to do with it. His voice cracks. Cracks. That, that Again, that could be a sign of 
I had nothing to do with it. And he's like, like oh, you know, he's like lying, or he's just so upset. So again, I can be reading too much into it. Tell me where they are, and I'll ask the foreman to be lenient with you. Why not kill you myself? And I'll ask the foreman to be lenient with you. I believe him. You, you do. Thank you. This, this has all been a nightmare. What do you do here? Me, I'm just a drags man. Lord the car load the carts, not lord. I'm the lord of the carts. <laughs> no, I load the carts. <laughs> Get the ore from here to there. I do whatever they ask me to, really. I, I haven't lived in Starwood long. Heard they needed some hands to work the mines. Thought I could make a fresh go of it. Maybe even see the ba battery. Why is this happening to me? He tries to wipe his nose with the back of his hand, leaving crimson smears behind. Okay. Okay, I say we go quickly back to see if there's anything extra for him. I guess we can speed this up. I also want to end this episode with 60 minutes, but I just want to check him quick before we go east. And then I want to show you clip my nose up before the next episode. <laughs> we are going to start leveling soon. Ah, where did you find Gamma? Yes, there is. So maybe we, if we went there first, could have covered it. Uh, found him out in the east, hunched over Samantha's body. The state of him thought he had gone feral or something. Okay. So over than the feral thing, there wasn't really much there, just east, what we already know. Okay, so how much... Oh, sugar. Got to a fight. I was trying to see how much more we have to go down before something happens. So I guess we'll just fight next episode. So with that being said, we're going to end here. So please like and subscribe for you next time. I've been Avitopia. And if you haven't already, please put some comments. And of course, watch some more stuff on my channel. Share the videos. And subscribe, like I said. You've been awesome. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.